Do not be one of the duck ass hoes that gets income tax money this year and blow that shit, man. For real. Do not want to be these duck ass hoes that around like April or May, you stand right here broke after people don't give you 10, 8, 9, 10 racks and you sitting right here broke because you want to stun on some people that you don't even like. You feel me? Hell no. Nah. You ain't doing that shit this year. You did that shit last year. You ain't doing that shit this year. You feel me? Nah, this the year that you gonna apply yourself and you gonna learn some shit, you gonna invest in your motherfucking self, man, because you want better. Yeah, because you wanna get your projects or because you want your kids to be in a better situation or because you wanna get your mama house or get your car or start your business. You heard me? Yeah. This year right here, man, you gonna invest in yourself, man. Stop playing yourself, man. That's what you're going to stop doing. You're going to stop motherfucking playing with your potential and all that shit. Stop playing yourself. You're going to get this motherfucking money and do what you're supposed to motherfucking do, man. Yeah, got that thing right, boy. <laughs> anyway, listen, man. If you're still watching this video, I just want to first of all say congratulations because you done told yourself, you done made that first step. In, the first step is telling yourself, man, listen, you is not going to be one of duck ass hoes this year. Straight up. And that's not I me, mean. and that's and that's number one. Making that making those type of mental decisions, those type of those type of mental decisions, is what gets you to that next level because it all starts up here, fam. You feel me? All the battle stops up here, fam. Straight up like that. Now, yeah. And with that being said, um, before we even talk about investing in your bread, bro, before we even talk about what to put your money into or um or what to buy or what vendor or anything like that man listen we're gonna talk about spiritual investments you hear me because you have to be spiritually and mentally prepared before you even have this money before you even spend some money because you could you could keep on doing what you always do or like your mama them on whatever did always do and that's fuck up that bag fam you know what i mean so like spiritual investments is definitely got to be number one and it's free. You ain't gotta pay for that shit, you heard me? Nah, go ahead. So like, let's get straight to it, man. You know, uh, the first spiritual investment you need to make, man, is probably one of the most, uh, same thing we just talked about, you know what I mean? Life-changing investments you can make. And that is, I don't know if I can see this. Know what you want. You hear me? You got to know what you want, fam. You got to know what you want because if you don't know what you want, fam, the world will pick something for you. You see all these niggas out here, they junkies and some more shit, like, because they ain't must they were probably raising good parents and all type of shit, but they out here junkies, fucking the dead and shit. Because they so easily influenced, bro. You heard me? Some people out here they doing type of extra shit, fucking up money, all type of shit. Cause they don't, they not, they not even being true to themselves. You feel? Like it's like I said, like it's so easy to get distracted because you don't really know where you're going. You gotta know where you're going. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know who you're trying to be. You feel me? You got to have a clear vision of somebody or something that you're trying to do, bro. You know what I'm saying? That before you even spend anything, bro, before you even do anything, the first step of being successful, bro, is you knowing that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how that shit feel like. You know how that shit tastes like. You hear me? You know how that shit smell like. Because... You just locked into this shit. You feel me? And, and if you don't find yourself locked into something like that, bro, you probably still ain't find that thing that, that I'm saying that thing's for you yet. You feel me? So you need to put some that's, so you really need to put this spiritual time and try to find out what is it that you wanna do. You know what I mean? Cause yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so like know what you want. Know what you want, man. Um once you know what you want. Another thing is free, man, but you know, it might cost you, like, I apologize, it might be like a dollar, get you two dollars, go to Dollar Tree or something, get you a pen and some paper, you heard me? And, and, 
Write that shit down, fam. You hear me? I can't stress this enough. Steve Harvey talks about it. It's all in the Bible. You hear me? This is all, it's, I think it's in, what it is? I apologize, What it is, Sean Martin? Know what I mean? It talks about how you gotta make that motherfucking vision clear, bro. That vision gotta be so clear that somebody else come right behind you and pick your vision up and read that thing, bro. If your vision ain't clear, it ain't gonna happen. You feel me? You ain't never heard of nobody building no skyscraper or a house, a tent, or nothing without them having a clear blueprint. I'm from Florida, bro. You heard me? If I know if I'm trying to drive to Cali to do whatever I'm trying to do, <laughs> you heard me? I know for a fact I'm going to need a roadmap, bro. I ain't saying, or GPS, whatever, you feel me? I ain't saying I can't make it up or it's going to be impossible to make it up, but why put that extra stress on yourself? Know what I'm saying? Why you don't have a roadmap? You know what I'm saying? When you have that roadmap, you can be like, hey, I'm going to go here, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to talk to this person, I'm going to, you feel me? You know how to get there. That's how you get to your destination. You got to put that shit on paper, fam. If you don't put that shit on paper, fam, anything can happen because life always go according to plans, you feel me? So like, if you're a person in business or whatever, you're gonna realize that, that a lot of times so you're gonna have shit written down, you're gonna have some shit lined up, and she don't go to the corner plans. And, and so, but a good, so you, you get distracted because you're like, damn, this shit ain't happen, bro. You feel me? Damn, this shit ain't gonna go down, bro. It's so, easy, it's so easy to get, like, you feel me? But if you had this shit written down, if something don't go through, you'd be like, okay, this right here is sitting kind of slow. So I still got this right to do, I still got that to do, and I still got, you feel me? Yeah, 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 so writing that shit down, very important, bro. That's like, that's like a roadmap, bro. You can't get to your destination unless you got the roadmap, bro. You feel me? Yeah. And that's, that's, that's on, that's, that's about it on, as far as like, writing something down. It's, it's, it's law, bro. It's law. But, nothing about that right now. You feel me? This is the last spiritual investment you need to be making. I feel like right here's probably, it could have been number one, but I mean, but this certain thing needed to happen. So I always put this right here kind of like, it's, it could be anything. But so, but it's definitely believing. You see that? But you gotta believe, fam. If you don't do nothing else, fam. If you don't do nothing else, fam, you gotta believe in that shit, bro. I'm talking about when you write that shit, when you see that vision, and then you write that shit down, you need to get go straight on your knees or whoever you pray to, whoever you need to pray to, and, and just go to thanking him in advance, bro. Know what I'm saying? Because you believe this shit belongs, you believe this shit, bro. You feel me? A lot of times, what's wrong with us is we don't really, we say we want some shit. But we don't really even believe in that shit, bro. You know what I mean? So before you do anything, fam, before you do anything, fam, I want you to do, please, bro, believe in the vision, fam. You got to believe in that vision, bro. God gave you that vision, fam. You heard me? And that nigga don't, that nigga don't make no mistakes. You feel me? So if it's something drop you inside, and, and, and so, and, and, it's, and it has you, you know what I'm saying, it's all you can think about, bro. And, 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 and you see yourself doing it, and it makes you happy inside. And you bold enough to write that shit down, like, okay, I'm sure you're trying to do this shit, fam. You need to believe, bro. You need to believe in the higher power, the, the universe, whatever. My nigga, I call him my nigga, because that's my, you know what I'm saying? Because you need to believe that, you know what I'm saying, that he done put you through so much shit already. So what the fuck is this? This nigga made the world in six days and was relaxing on Saturday. I'm talking about him. You heard me? This nigga made everything. So what the fuck is a Lamborghini? This nigga made the world. He made waterfalls, the ocean, all type of shit. This nigga made pussy. All type of shit. The fuck? That man can do anything. He can give you anything, bro. So. Having that strong belief in knowing that, bro, I don't know about y'all, but I've been through some shit, fam. You feel me? I, I just did nine years in prison, you feel me? I went to prison when I was 16, and I was 25. 
No, I mean, you gotta keep on watching other videos so you know how that went about. But like, me going through that shit is like my biggest asset, bruh. You feel me? Cause I always feel like, when I'm out here in the streets, fam, I've been out five years now. When I'm out here facing these obstacles, as I can see, I'm in, in my hookah lounge. You know what I'm saying? Know what I mean? Why am I facing these obstacles, fam? I always think about like, bro, I done been through this some I done been through too much already, man. So I could I could accomplish this shit. You feel me? I could do this shit, nigga. I don't live this, I don't I don't survive shootouts, prison walls, nigga, all type of shit. So what the fuck is a fucking million dollar business? What the fuck is a mansion? This nigga made the world. This nigga, I, you know he got it. This nigga got more money than stimulus. You heard me? Hell no. Nah, this nigga got it, bro. This nigga made the world, bro. Straight up. So, I mean, so like, you gotta have that. So, you knowing that, bro, and you knowing the shit you done been through. A lot of y'all been through shit probably worse than me, you feel me? Like, you should already know, but if you don't overcame that shit, bro, this shit that you got the vision of, you can make that shit happen, bro. Straight up. You can make it happen, bro. But you gotta believe, bro. You got to believe, bro. I, I, I can't stress this one enough, bro. Because I wouldn't be here today. I'm telling you, bro. I wouldn't want to be alive today, nigga. If I didn't believe that something was bigger than me, bro. Something. You feel me? So you got to believe, bro. Believe in your dreams, bro. I don't care who don't believe in your dreams, bro. There going to some people in your life that ain't going to believe in your shit, bro. They're going to let you down. They're gonna, they ain't going to support you. They ain't gonna be there for you. They gonna buy from everybody else except you, bro. And they your motherfucking family and your friends and most shit, bro. But you better stop. You better not fucking stop believing, bro. Straight up, bro. You better believe in that dream because God gave that shit to you, fam. So it's on you to make that shit happen. Know what I mean? Straight up, bro. That shit, that, that, that shit, that shit, that shit getting goosebumps, but I'm telling you, bro, I had, I've been out here five years, but I had to make it happen, fam. You hear me? All praise God, bro. You heard me? Keep that faith strong, baby. Let's do it. You can do anything. I believe in you. I know how I read when I was 18 years old in prison. You heard me? So I, you know I believe in you. You know what I mean? If you need a little extra push, just remember, I dropped out of school in eighth grade. Went to prison when I was 16. You heard me? So if I can do something, I own four or five businesses, but I sell hell, Queen's Ham Beauty LLC. I sell Ethicus, Ethicus by Zoe. So with Ethicus. I make websites, so, um, website by Zoe. I got my own hookah lounge. I got my own damn um, solar company. I home small home solar LLC. You know what I'm saying? I've been out here five years, fam. All because I believe, bro. You know what I mean? Check my website so you can check them out too. Queen's Hair in Beauty. The letter in You know what I mean? Beauty.com. You know what I'm saying? You find this in here and everything. All that shit. Anyway, yeah, man. Yeah, man, I, 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 can go, I can go on forever about that shit, bro. Cause I'm telling shit real, bro. I'm telling you, bro. That's probably the biggest one, bro. You know what I'm saying? Believe, bro. Before you even start buying shit, you know what I mean? And investing in shit, whatever. All right. Now you got that spiritual shit out the way. You feeling good. You believe in yourself. You feel me? Yeah. Now you can do a little something. You feel me? Yeah. You got God with you, you know what I mean? Okay, so check it. All right. Now, I don't know what's up with niggas nine days, man. And this, and this right here, we got some problem with these people, but we need to stop that shit. You need to be an adult and go open up a bank account, bro. That shit costs an eight. The same thing you, 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 you the, the same thing you, you buying, the, the same weed you buying every damn day. You could have bought, you could open up a real bank account, man. And when I say real bank account, I ain't talking about shine or borrow or none of that shit. They very good banks, bro. I ain't taking that. I ain't saying the fun people. You feel me? But I'm just saying though. But I, if you have to go inside a 7 Eleven, a Walgreens, something like that, and give people some money to put some money in your car, that is not a bank account, fam. It's not. So what you need to do is invest in a real bank. You know what I mean? It's one beneficial. Reasons why, you know what I mean? We can talk about that in another video, but the most beneficial reason why is you need to establish a relationship with somebody, bro. You feel me? You need to be able to go inside a bank. You feel me? I mean, they call you on a first name basis. Yeah, last name basis. They're like, okay, what can we do? They could, they could assist you. The people are there to assist you. You know what I'm talking about? So, like, open up a real bank account, bro. Yeah. So, like, 
the, the, if I could recommend any, if I could recommend any, if I could recommend any band to anybody, bro, I apologize, man, I don't know, If I could recommend any band to anybody, bro, I recommend any type of, any type of credit union. You can't even go wrong with a credit union, fam. You can't even go wrong because them people looking out. They private. So what that means, they smaller. So they, what they trying to do is what banks really supposed to be doing, giving out money. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how banks make money. You know what I'm saying? By letting you hold money to with interest. You feel me? So if we trying, the smaller the banks is, the more money they're more willing to fuck with you, bro. Straight up. I'm getting some game now. I'm getting some game. I ain't give you nothing now. Can't say I ain't give you no game now. Straight up. All right. So if I could recommend any banks, bro, I would definitely recommend Navy Federal. If you can get inside of Navy Federal, if you have any type of person like, like, because I don't think everybody can go inside Navy Federal. You gotta have some type of person that's been in Navy or, or you know what I'm saying? Like, they gotta be a family, could be a friend or whatever. I don't know how it is, but they got, you gotta know somebody that's been to Navy. They gotta they got be able to get you in. Or somebody that they let in could, get, could let you in. You feel me? So, like, they number, bro, they look out, bro. They're gonna give you, they're gonna look out for you, bro. Those people are for the people. You feel me? So, Navy Federal, that's my number one recommendation. Straight up. You know what I mean? My second recommendation will definitely be like, um, any type of credit unions, you know what I mean? It's like, well, it's, in Florida, we got, we got fair wins. We got fair wins. So like fair wins, they scrape, you feel me? So like, if you, if you can get out a fair win, they scrape people, bro. You know what I mean? Like I was telling y'all, credit union is always highly recommended. If it is, yeah. But if you can't get out credit union, cause they be, they, they is a little, they is a little sprinkle, you feel me? They don't really accept everybody. But, if you, but so if you can't get inside them, Another band I recommend, bro, is definitely, definitely Regions. Regions, bro. Regions and TDs. TD Bank. TD Bank, this great banks, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This great bank. Uh, I had book no. I actually, Regions was my first bank when I first got the joint. When I first got the joint, I had just, you know what I'm saying, my bid. I ain't really know. You know, I had, when I was 16, got out when I was uh, 25. So, like, I ain't really know how to, like, be a adult. You know what I mean? I was kind of like handicapped in a lot of ways. You know what I'm saying? That's, little, that's, that's another story, but. So like, they really was able to like help me, bro. Like they just helped me, it made me feel comfortable. Okay, you know, I was a little, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, institutionalized, some old shit. Like, I ain't know if I want to rob that bill. I'm just playing, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. <laughs> for real, for real. Anyway, um, yeah, but they did help me. Um, <laughs> They did help me um, open up a bank account. It was very simple, bro. You know what I mean? I think Regions was like $25. So like the same money that you probably spending on that bad, bad weed you're smoking. You know what I mean? You can get your bank account, bro. You know what I mean? Those people, you can go to your bank and put your money in there for free. You know what I mean? They don't help you get loans. They don't type of shit. But just get your bank account, man. It's all about building relationships. In life, you're trying to get some more. You got to build relationships, bro. So anyway, if you don't have no other relationships, there's no other more relationship more potent than behind God and your family. It's got to be your bank, bro. You know what I mean? So like, you got to have that relationship. You feel me? Yeah. All right, all right. Okay, now that you have a bank account, you know what I mean, and you're spiritually straight, you feel me? Now, you need to think about your future. What's your future? Nine times 10, if you, you might have kids or whatever, so, Man, fuck that shit. If you getting eight, nine, ten racks back in the time, you got kids on here for it. You got some damn kids. <laughs> a whole lot on too. Probably that's my whole song too. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So you gotta be thinking about their future, man. You gotta be thinking about your kids' future. You gotta be thinking about like, okay, what is little what's little T-Man gonna do? What is little Tyrone gonna do? What is little DJ gonna do? You know what I mean? Something was happening to me, whatever. So like you need thinking about your future and like I'm not even saying like something's happening to you like I'm just talking about like start building towards the future you know what I mean and the, the best way to build towards the future is credit bro us black people bro we so sleep on credit bro and I'm I'm one of you feel me I'm right now in the process of build my credit back up you feel me like credit is is life bro they, they will give you money you feel me just for doing what you're supposed to be doing the same much you're gonna be spending. At the at the cell phone place anyway, you just pay with your credit card or whatever, you, and you pay that same much you don't get a cash deal. So I mean, um, it's that same money you get the cash deal, you get to pay your credit card off. You feel me? But yeah, 
You feel me? But there's a lot of people that don't have no credit cards, bro. So if you don't have a credit card and you're trying to get, start establishing your credit, you feel me? Because you're trying to be that person, you're trying to get to the, you're trying to make sure your kids straight. You feel me? Like, one card I highly recommend, bro, is Self. It's a credit builder. It's called Self Credit Builder. I have one right here. <laughs> yeah. But yeah though, it's a self credit builder. What it is, oh this shit raw, bro. It's a light blue card. This shit raw, bro, because what makes it so wrong, then people fuck with you, bro. What makes it so raw is this is how they help you build your credit. They make it seem like you what they make it seem like they let you hold some money. But all reality, what you really doing is you, you, you set up a payment plan with them. Every month you make a payment plan, it's gonna be for a year. You feel me? So like, you're gonna be like, okay, you're gonna be paying. You can, you can choose your payment plans. You'll be like, all right, uh, I wanna pay $15 a month, $25 a month, $35 a month, $45, whatever it is, you feel me? And what, what really going on is, this month you're paying every month, they're putting it in a savings account. Like, kinda like a CD, a little bit, but not like a CD. If y'all know what a CD is, it's um, with, with your bank, because it's good, that little interest and stuff. But nah, I ain't talking about it. I'm talking about like you, this money. You, you, you put this money in your bank in your savings account every month. But the only thing the credit bureau know is you pay back a loan, like a like a little loan back. You know, you, you pay loans back and build your credit. You feel me? So like you pay you, you pay you pay your self card back. You pay self card. You pay self card. Not you, you don't even have a card yet. I apologize. You don't have a card yet. Uh, you pay your self uh, account self account every month. After three payments, step on hit you up like boom. Okay. All right. The same money that you've been saving, the same money that you done put to, and then put inside them uh, inside your your uh, your self account, you can use that same money to put inside a secure credit card. Now I mean a secure credit card. Now you have two things you put into your credit bureau. You have you have a new credit line. And you use this responsibly, responsibly. And you have your self call, your self account that you steady paying back, that you steady paying every month. This is your money that you're gonna get back at the end of the year, anyways. You feel me? So you, 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 you feel what I'm saying? You build your credit. That's how you build your credit, bro. You build, it's, it's very, they're a very good program. You should really check out my call self. Now I mean, come along, bro. If I could recommend anything, you should rec I would recommend you should get like three or all three of these. All three of these companies, bro, because they they don't help you get like jump like 50, 60, 70 points. That thing is gonna stay there this time, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, they don't help you jump like 60 points, bro. 70 points in like in about a month. So besides self, is this one. It's called CreditStrong.com. You feel me? They raw too. They the same thing. You, you pay them every month. They don't come with a card though. You know what I mean? But you pay them every month. They 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 you putting your money going towards your savings. And a bitch of credit like you paying a loan. You know what I mean? Another one is it's called when I can see that. L O Q box. Yeah. They they raw too, bro. I recommend you do all three of these, but like self is only I'm gonna get a card though. You feel me? So yeah, only I can see my shit. Damn. I have to grab shit out of something. <laughs> but yeah, um, self is only I'm gonna get a card. But having all three of these, these, these accounts, you paying them dilig dilig diligently every month, fam. <laughs> My fault, y'all. Bruh, in, in a matter of months, in a matter of a month, I guarantee in a matter of months, your credit score will jump by 50, 60 points. I guarantee. Just off the self card. You know what I'm saying? But if you do all three of them, bro, I'm telling you, shit gonna jump like, you know, for 100 some points overnight, bro. I'm telling you, you're gonna be like, damn. Like, Joe so, so knows something, bro. I'm saying, like, when 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 y'all when y'all go back, y'all make sure y'all uh, tell the people in these comments like Zoe line now, Zo Zo know something now. Alright, now that you get you got your spiritual you got your you spiritually connected, you spiritually right, you believe in yourself, you feel me, you know what you want to do, you feel me. You got your bank account, regular bank account, you feel me. You got you bet your credit, you stop it. You don't do so much. You don't did most shit in last. All that shit right there could take like my fault, y'all. All that shit right there. My all that shit right there could take like all that shit right there could take like a day, bro. 
Everybody that says a fall break ticket, one day do. You done did more things in one day than you did. And in my four, five income tax season, you don't fuck up, you don't been fucking up that bad for the last couple of years. So you don't, you don't, you snapping already. You snapping, you doing your thing, you doing your thing for sure. But we ain't done yet. But we ain't much done yet, man. We still going. Yeah. Now, you lost like, credit, though. I got my bank account. I got, I got, I got, I got my, um, I'm getting my credit scrape. Um, I'm spiritually connected. Now, now it's time to, that same, we're going back to the spiritual realm. That vision that you see, that thing you say you want to do, now you're going to put an LLC behind that shit. You're going to go legit. You're going to be a business owner. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. You're going you gonna to open up a business. No. Let me tell you something, man. Because I had this shit fucked up too when I was a kid. Or when I was young or whatever. If I was a business owner. A business is not no damn skyscraper down, downtown, man. It's not. It's not a damn uh, uh, um, big ass corporate warehouse. No, it's not that shit, bro. A business is when you register your business name to your secretary of state in your, in your state. And you become an LLC, it's a limited liability corporation. That's probably the best bet for anybody to open a business, bro, because there's a lot of tax reasons, and we ain't, we ain't, I, I ain't got time to talk about reasons, those reasons, but, you know what I'm saying, it's a lot of benefits, so just LLC, you know what I mean? That's when you become a business. You register out your state, you feel me? Now, you are a whole business out here in the streets. You could be on your laptop, you could be on your phone, it could be on Instagram page, whatever, you could be whatever your side hustle is. You feel me? That's another thing, bro. I want to get. I just want to discuss real quick. Like, whatever your side hustle is, bro. Don't let nobody downplay your shit. I don't get damn selling spice bowls, man. If that's some shit you're trying to do, you try to be a candle lady, sell flips or whatever, ice pops, whatever y'all motherfuckers call it. Where y'all from? If that's something that you want to do, bro, and you get up, uh, and you trying to get shit like trying to be the best at that, do that shit, fam. Don't let nobody talk you out your motherfucking dream, bro. If you feel like you can make a million dollars off that shit, you confident that shit, bro, do that shit, nigga. Guess what? Guess what, nigga? There's a lot of motherfuckers that sell ice cream and they got millions of dollars, nigga. Million, billion dollar corporations, bro. Now, and guess what? They all started probably in a mom pop shop, they probably started in house making ice cream. Straight up. So don't, you know what I mean? So don't be afraid to dream, you know what I mean? And don't let nobody else tell you, okay, that shit sound weak. Hell no. Nah. Straight up. Open your business up. Open your business, man. Straight up. You can do that shit. I believe in you. You look at me. You can do anything, man. You got God, baby. Fuck, look at me. You got God. So whatever your business is, open that shit. Fuck that shit. Know what I mean? Open that shit. Okay. What I can say about that right now is, okay, I know you're probably like, man, that nigga talking about God. He be, he be cursing. Nah. The Bible says cursing when you talking about killing somebody in your mind and they, you want them dead. That's what the Bible says. You know what I'm saying? This word bitch really means female dog in Europe. So we ain't gonna go there. Yeah! But well, yeah though. <laughs> but back what I was saying about listen, open up the business, right? You go to your set, it's gonna be, I know in Florida it's, it's somebiz.org. Usually it's gonna end up with org or gov because anything with the government is gonna be, you know what I mean? And you and you register, first you're gonna look at the name, see if your name is available. You know what I mean? Once you, once you see that your name is available, if it's not available, the only thing you have to do is, a lot of times, if it says and, the only thing you have to do is, is subtract that, not subtract that, but like substitute that with um, a letter in. I ain't telling you how to take people's names. I'm just, I'm just telling you the game. I'm just saying. If you have a vision, you already have a name, and it says somebody already have that name, you could spell it differently or whatever. And you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm basically trying to say. Damn, I don't think that was just to you. Anyways, yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, but yeah though, but yeah, register your name. Make sure it says the um dot org or gov, bro, cause you don't want to be getting scammed. In Florida, that shit like one hundred twenty five dollars to get your shit registered, and like I think it really is though. No, after taxes, like one thirty, some shit like that, bro. I don't know, something like that. But it's, it's, it's like no, I do know it's like it's one twenty five, and after taxes, like one thirty for. But everybody, everybody's state different. It might be cheaper where you at. It might be more expensive where you at. I don't know. 
But um, once you once you get that back though, bro, what you need to be doing, bro, you need to. This right here is free though. You need to go to um IRS.gov and get you an EIN number. You feel me? That's what that's what that's what really makes you a business. That's what bring a baby alive. You feel me? Because your EIN number is like your social security number for your business. You hear me? It's like okay. That's what separates you from that what separates you from your business. That's why motherfuckers be like, okay, motherfuckers be going bankrupt in personal life because you can sue somebody personally, but a money in their bank for their business is you can't touch that. No, nah, yeah, that's why them baby mamas and baby daddy be doing shit like that. Anyway, but um yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, for real. But that's just how you separate all that. That's how you separate all that. You know what I mean? You, your EIN number. You got your social security number, you got your business, and your EIN number. Straight up. It's its own entity. It needs to be its own person. And it's just right here it's free. It's, I'm putting all the links in the bottom, bro. You feel me? But yeah. It is it's gonna be, I think you go to, I know you go to uh, uh, IRS.gov. Let's get that free. Boy, you smoking. You doing your thing. You got a lot of shit going on right now. Girl. Yeah. Yeah, man, but um, last thing you should be doing as far as this session goes is go back to the bank, the same bank they got a relationship with, and say, hey, man, because now they fuck with you anyway. You got your little $25 in there, you got your little money in there, whatever you put in them that week, the direct deposit, whatever. You feel me? Your whatever money, you know what I mean? Your side money, your side hustle money. Then people fucking with you. You feel me? Let's see, you know what I mean? Now you tell me, listen, man, listen, check this out. Regions, check this out, motherfucking on uh, on uh, uh, Navy Federal, motherfucker. Let me tell you something, bitch. I just open them damn business hole. They be like, damn, bitch, you snapping? Cause them people know you. Them people know you been fucking on that money for a long time. When, when you walk in the bank and you twenty something years old, thirty something years old, and you just open up in a bank account, them people already know this been this nigga been fucking up for a long time. <laughs> it's your first bank account, bitch. The fuck. But anyway, they gonna be like, damn, bitch, you snapping? All right, all right. So, so like they gonna come at you like, okay, I'm trying to open up your business bank account. You feel me? And that's what you do. Your business bank account sometimes costs a little bit more, bro. It be like twenty five dollars. It can be even from twenty five to hundred dollars. It depends where you're going. And a lot of them they have like a little minimum money you gotta keep inside. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do for your business, bro. You gotta be investing. It ain't cost. We ain't spending no money. We ain't investing some money. Dip. Is that it? Going places. All right. All right. This right here, man, is for every nigga in America. Straight up. Oh, what's up, Chuck? Get, get your driver license, man. What the fuck wrong with you? What the fuck? You right here one about the police fucking with you. Bitch, you get your damn license. Listen, get your license, man. Do not get your license and then you get your car. Do not get your car first and then get your license. Reason being, if you check the history books, if you Google this shit, I'm telling you, nowhere in history of niggerism has any nigga bought a car first Bought the car first, and then went and got the license, bro. I'm telling you, bro. No, hell no. Nah. Nigga got car first, and nigga was gonna drive that motherfucking car till they get pulled over. Hell no, nah. we ain't doing that shit. No, we ain't doing that shit this year. We did that shit with your, with your lemon you did last year. That's how you lost your lemon last year. We ain't doing that shit this year. You gonna keep this? You gonna keep this lemon? Nah, hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. So get your license, man. Straight up. Okay. Once you get your license, now you get you a cash card. Do not go to them people Audi's car like God. Oh. Do not go to them people Mercedes car lot, man. And put down a thousand dollars on that car, man. I don't know who need to hear this, man. Listen, man, cause the repo, I need to give me a I need to give me a tow truck on this year. Right, this time of year. Listen, do not go to them people, 
BMW lot and drop that thousand dollars on that fifty thousand dollars car. For real, man. Don't do that shit this year, man. This not this unless you have already have some money put up. You got you got money coming in already. And you the in your state in your state and you're in that point right now, you're trying to really build your credit because you know paying paying the car off and paying car notes will help build your credit. You did. But if you not in that position and you just got some racks, you, you know this probably the next it probably you probably ain't get no racks at one time like this unless you're doing something you got no business doing for a while. You do not need to go buy your car. Drop, you do not need to go drop, drop no down payment on the car. You need to be going out and find your reliable car. I Maybe mean, if you got to fix it or whatever, but it's your car. You feel me? Reason why I say that, bro, is when you have a car, a brand new car, yeah, it might be a brand new car, but you can get a car for a lot, bro. This shit still give you problems. You feel me? But if you, you, you can get your new lemon now. But not only that, though, but you committed to make it an extra four, five hundred dollars, three, four, five hundred dollars payment every month on top of whatever shit you got going on. Top of your kids, top of whatever, and you know you got the hang out, and you smoke. Don't forget you smoke. You ain't really give up none of that shit. So I'm gonna put an extra bill on top of, you know what I'm saying? Hell no, nah, I'm doing that shit, bro. Hell no. Nah. Get you a cash car. And then, not only that, bro, I forgot, bro. Not only that, when you motherfucking get you a, 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 a car from the lot, you gotta pay full coverage every month, bro. Your, coverage, your car insurance is gonna be like four, five hundred dollars a month. That means, nigga, your car costs you about a thousand dollars a month, if not more. Just for your car. That's why you count your gas, and I put them kind of the rims that you're going. That you're going that you, you going to go to the brick wheel and do, cause you know what, next one, that's, that's nigga shit. You gotta get the wheels now. If you gonna do some nigga shit, might well go all, all, all the way out. If you gonna do some nigga shit, might well go all the way out, do rim wheels, two wheels. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, no. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but no, bro, listen. No. No, I know you're not doing that shit, bro. That, that's, 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 that, you see how all that shit accumulate an extra bill every month, and then you still got your rent, all that shit there? No, man, it's, it's no, nah, that ain't how we doing it. We ain't messing this year. You feel me? Nah, not this year. This year won't get us a car. And then we got blood AC problem or whatever. I don't care what type of problem they might have. Nah, you need the AC. I ain't gonna lie. But if it does have AC problem, you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. But you wanna come up right now. You been in your credit? You been in your, you know, you been in your credit. Once you, you know what I'm saying? Once your credit is getting right, you gonna get your car zero money down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Straight up, bro. It's so, you feel me? Yeah. Okay. Now we have a car, but we snapping. Give yourself a hand, baby. Damn, nigga. Ooh, that's all my. Ooh, tripping. You tripping. You snapping. You snapping, man. You got to be sliding. No, man. You good. You doing your thing. Now, you got your bank account. Now it's time to get your money, man. No, I mean, it's time to start getting you some. No, I mean, so you need to start needing some income coming in. So, the next thing you talking about, think about investing in, it is right here. It, um, cause you are not trying, you gotta invest, you gotta invest in your inventory. You gotta invest in your inventory. Now I mean, you gotta invest into whatever, you, the, your, your craft, your trade, whatever you trying to do. You feel me? Like, whatever you trying to do, you got, whether you selling, like me, I sell, nigga, I sell, I, nigga, I sell ethical, I sell hell, you know what I mean? I sell lashes, nigga. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trap, nigga. I'm not here trapping whatever, nigga. I'm not whatever. You feel me, selling whatever. You feel me? If you, if, 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 if you trying to, that, that's that's really anything in life. Anything in life is trapping, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got, you, 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 once you once you find once you find your niche, that's what that's called your niche. The only thing you gotta do is find your crackhead now. You feel me? You gotta find what, 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 what your crackhead is your target market. Yeah. So. But you got to know, but you got to apologize, but you got to have your inventory. You know what I mean? And you got to, you got, you got to, you got to invest in good inventory, bro. Like, you know, you like your, your inventory is like, it's, it's, it's you. You feel me? So you can't be out here doing fuck shit like, like we men. We men out here 
know what I'm saying? And then we men send some bullshit, bro. Niggas ain't fuck with that nigga, bro. Nigga all got me clothes for that nigga. Like, that nigga got some bad weed. Don't fuck with him. He tripping. He tripping. So that's how you gotta look at your motherfucking business. You can't be out here, you know what I'm saying? I know you try, it's all about the profit, but you can't be out here selling the bullshit and making black business owners look bad. You feel me? Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's the worst thing, making black owners look bad. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's, and whatever you're trying to invest in, make sure you invest in it. If, it, if, it, if you can't follow the best, I ain't saying go out there and spend by the work best. I'm just saying make sure the quality of whatever you're buying is good. You know what I mean? That's, you know what I mean, like me, I got, I'm making another video about how to find vendors and all that stuff there, so we ain't gonna go there. You know what I mean? Cause you know, people are on point. Yeah. Boom. That's my next video, man, about that. Yeah. But get your inventory, make sure it's good. You know what I'm saying? Know, with, with inventory, make sure that you know what you need to, if you're gonna be shipping, if you're gonna be, you know what I mean, just selling locally, you know what I mean? But you really, if, you, if you're trying to grow, you know what I mean, you probably start local, but you should always think about growing. You know what I mean? If you think about growing, you should always think about Selling stuff, I'm a, selling stuff out of town, you know, shipping stuff. So you should definitely like invest into like the time it takes to you know the time to go out and find out how much it costs to ship stuff, all that shit done. You know what I mean? Knowing how much you want to chop a tax, all that stuff. You got that's that's all, that all goes with inventory. That's a, that's a whole subject go on that forever. <laughs> but I'll, I'll go back to that another video though for sure. Yeah. Once you realize that you, you know what I'm saying, you know what you're selling, whatever, you feel me. You feel me. And you know what you're trying to do, you know you want to be the million now. You feel me? What's the next thing you need to do is invest in. Fuck with your boy. Invest in your website. You feel me? This is my website. That's my website. Website. Website by Zoe. Z-O-E. Big Z's, nigga. Damn. Um. Website by so nigga. And you go and you know what I mean? You tell me what you want. And I take care of you in about two, three days. I'm talking about I'm get, I get them websites out of the ASAP. I don't play with them. How that whatever you're trying to sell, you feel me? Yeah, you get your website because that's how you really get known. You know what I mean? And we live in a, we live in a time where everybody's on their phone or everybody's doing just think about it. You don't want to go McDonald's without even look at your phone. Like you feel me? You look at your phone like, okay. Okay, um, what's close to McDonald's? Or where's the best such such? Or whatever, you feel me? You can look at your phone for all that shit. So, but you can't find that, people can't find you if you just, get, just, in this, just in the house, you just, and people don't know nothing about you. Yeah, word of mouth is good, but you trying to grow, you feel me? So like, invest in yourself, you feel me? And get your website, you know what I'm saying? Get your website, that's how you, 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 you're investing in your company. That's how your business gonna grow. Your business, you know what I'm saying? You know, because, there's a million, there's a billion people out there. You feel me? If you're marketing your stuff right, you can sell something on Amazon, on Instagram, whatever, Walmart. You can say you can put your products anywhere. You know what I'm saying? On your website. You feel me? But there's a billion people out there. You feel me? You can make a billion dollars. You can make a billion dollars in one day. But just say something for one dollar. You feel me? So the Knowing that, you gotta get your website. WWW stands for World Wide Web. You feel me? So like, you can touch a lot of people. Same way on Instagram, you out here shaking your ass or you might here doing whatever, showing up your money, whatever, on Instagram, getting followers, whatever. You can do that, put that same energy on your website to bring people to your website and they can be that me spending money. You feel me? Yeah, it's a player shit. Know what I mean? Look what you, look what you done did and listen, bro. Everything I've already showed you, hey, I'm telling you, listen, my website probably the most expensive thing. My website, you pay what you want, like $200, $300, whatever. But fast shit though, you feel me? But to do it like I just said, bro, it probably costs you less than $800, bro. Between your license, you pay what you got in your license, bro. I don't know. Your license might be the most expensive thing. So y'all yeah, motherfuckers be having this fuck up shit. <laughs> but we, I ain't here to judge you, man. But I'm just saying, though, but for real though, if you just gotta get your license and all that shit done, I'm telling you, bro. This, this whole list, I'm telling you, it could be, it, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it could be less, it's less eight hundred dollars, bro. Not even all your tax money. You still go ahead and guys, still do whatever, but you, you, you don't invest it in yourself. You, you invest it in something that's gonna take you somewhere else. You feel me? Yeah, that's how you invest your stuff, man. For sure. I hope y'all, I hope y'all like my show. 
Hope y'all like my my um my, my channel. You feel me? And y'all see, I like what I'm talking about, man. Cause all I'm trying to do is build, bro. You feel me? Like real, for real. Like, I'm trying to empower people to realize, like, the only thing I do make a change your mind. You feel me? I got out of prison. I did nine years, and I, I didn't get no new, I ain't get no new daddy. I didn't get no new mama. I ain't get no new opportunity. Nah, nigga, I got out of prison. Shit was still fucked up. You feel me? Right, so like, but what helped me is I changed my mind, bro. You feel me? You, you can change your body. You can change, motherfucker can get their body done today and be fat by the Christmas, by Christmas, you feel me? So like, do you know how that happened? Because you can put a, a if you put a, the same person in a new body, it's still the same person. So their attitude, their mind frame, everything's still the same. So guess what? It's still fucking up. You feel me? So with that being said, you got to understand, but the battle's in your mind. The only thing stopping you is you. You feel me? The only thing stopping you, the only thing got you going back and forth in jail is you. Because you're not making the choices to, to, to do whatever it takes, you feel me? To make it happen. You're not making that choice. Look at my shirt. You're not making that choice. Up. Failure is not an option. I made that choice. I said, nigga, I don't give a fuck what happens in life, nigga. I don't give a fuck what I got to do, nigga. I ain't going back to motherfucking prison, nigga. Bet that, nigga. You feel me? I bet that. I don't give a fuck. If I got to on a bridge, nigga, I'm going to make this shit. I'm going to figure some shit out, bro. You feel me? Yeah, bro. So, like... Man, listen, bro. I just, I listen, bro. <laughs> so, I can't say it enough. It's your mind, bro. No, I mean you're a human being. God bless you, man. You feel me? God bless you. I, I don't smell coke, bitch. I'm smell coke. I, I got dusted, bro. Bitch, <laughs> 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 no, don't 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 spread no type of room. Anyway, yeah, it's your mind, bro. You gotta have that different mind frame, bro. No, I mean like. Same, bro. I'm done with that shit. Man, I'm done doing that shit. That's when you really go to breaking out out of shit. When you saying, bro, I'm done with that shit, bro. Like, I'm tired of that shit. That's when change comes, bro. When you make that mental decision, like, bro, I don't want, I'm tired of being on the floor. I'm tired of getting beat up by this nigga. I'm tired of being broke. I'm tired of being on my You feel me? And you make that mental switch. And now, you like, okay, I can do this. You feel me? That's why I start off with a spiritual thing. I'm telling you, bro, because the, the battle is spiritual, bro. You the only thing stopping you, bro. You, you got enough right now to do whatever you're trying to do, man. You know what I mean? But your problem is, you don't really believe in your damn self, man. You know what I mean? So, like I said from the beginning, bro, belief is powerful. So, know what you want and believe in yourself, man. You feel me? Believe, fuck believe in yourself. Believe in God. This nigga raw. This nigga got more, this nigga got more money than the stimulus. That nigga got to be raw. Tell you. So yeah, man. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed my video. Y'all learned something. Y'all, and, 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 and if you do, bro, make sure you, make sure you write that down in the comments, man. Because I'm so serious, man. Because like, yeah, man. I just can't, I can go on forever, man. Yeah.